Hello everyone, I am Ms. Shweta Patil from Department of ENTC, AISSMS, Institute of Information Technology, Pune. Today we will discuss about unicast routing protocols. Here we will see how we are making use of specific protocols. To update the information in routers on a network. So we will be looking at three protocols. First one is the routing information protocol RIP which is based on distance vector algorithm. We have open shortest path first OSPF which is based on link state algorithm. We also have the border gateway protocol BGP which is based on path vector algorithm. Now, before we go on to look each one of these protocol, let us look on why we have these different solutions. Now, this is the internet structure we have. Here we have so many different networks performing so many different operations. We have some providers offering backbone services. So these are the core services on which other services are built. So these will perform like a pipe which is used to connect the different networks. So it performs a very important function. The function is very important because it is the backbone. On this backbone, you will have other providers which are relaying so you could have a provider network so it could be a Vodafone Airtel etc these providers could provide services to another networks so what we are talking about here is we have different domains we have different companies providing different services of the backbone provider network, customer network, and the peer point. These different companies fulfill the role of different types of network. Now it is obvious that the technologies that we use by each company will be different. That is not possible. For example, RIP does not work when the number of routers in the diameter exceeds 15. If the number of hops becomes more than 15, RIP is not a good choice. Then we will have to use OSPF or some other protocol. So this is why based on what the system is, we will have a specific solution inside the system. Solution in the sense different technologies, different routing protocols. So to make this thing easy, we will identify each one of these system as an autonomous system. We call each system as an autonomous system. So these system are independent in themselves. An autonomous system will be independent. It can run independently. And you have in here different routers and different technologies. Each system could use its own routing protocol. So here we could have the RIP. Here we could have OSPF. So what do we mean by interdomain and intradomain routing protocol? When the routing is taken care of inside an autonomous system, it is interdomain routing. And when the routing is between two different autonomous system, then it is interdomain routing. And together by using interdomain and intradomain routing, we can together make use of 
this solution to find out a lot about other autonomous systems. So for example, this router will exchange information to know about its own autonomous system. So its routing table is updated. So this routing table can now be exchanged with R2 from another autonomous system. So this router comes to know what is happening here or who is here and R2 gets to know who is in the autonomous system 1 also. So when all the edge routers exchange information with each other, then they can share the information about their own autonomous system. So we have intradomain routing protocols and interdomain routing protocols. Different routing protocols which are based on the coverage that they are offering. In here you can see the examples we have. There are three autonomous systems. This autonomous systems have this autonomous system has point to point wire link to communicate between the routers. Here it could be a simple LAN and here could be something else. And these routers are interconnected with the help of each other so that they are able to share the information about each other. So we have the router protocol classified into intradomain and interdomain. We have RIP which is based on distance vector and OSPF which is based on link state. Both are more suitable for interdomain. Whereas we have the BGP which is based on path vector which is more suitable for interdomain. Thank you.